starting. Tornado. Ready to whip up a storm through its industrial motor power, fixed spikes provide the teeth of the gale, a steel and polycarbonate body to withstand any buffeting, but after the storm, perhaps the doldrums. Hi, I'm Andrew Marchant, and this is our robot Tornado. These are my team members, Dave Gamble and Brian Moss. Tornado's powered by two 24 volt 750 watt motors, but we overrun them to 36 volts and we gear very low. So we've got a lot of power and a lot of acceleration. In fact, we've got seven brake horsepower, which we think is the most power that any robot's ever had. From Adelston in Surrey, Caterkill. Trundling on rubber tracks, will the Caterkiller butterfly away from opponents? Spikes on the lifting flipper give the killing edge. They think they have a Cater's nine lives, but then Caterkillers eat leaves, and this could leave early. Hi, I'm Keith Williams of Team Cat. This is our robot Caterkiller. It's powered by two 800 watt motors, Lexan and Macrolon bodywork, same as used in the screens to protect the robot audience from uh, flying debris. It's powered by tracks. Uh, it's got a lifting arm, powered by two 7,500 Newton electric rams. From St. Leonard's on Sea, seed number eight, Gemini. A unique and brilliant innovation, the cluster bot, which will split into two machines on entering the melee, fiberglass and Kevlar shells, pneumatic flippers. But Gemini, Killer Lots and Leo, and lions rule our jungle. What lessons have been learned from their previous incarnation as Mace, Stinger, Stung? Then they slam suicidal tendencies and they come back with similar power this time around. But in the semi-finals against Chaos 2, they were flipped. They couldn't write themselves. I wonder if they've improved on that this time around. So we're Team Mace, this is our robot Jim and I. Um, it's a heavyweight cluster bot, which means it goes into the arena as one machine, then we split into two and fight as a team. Um, each machine is equipped with a high-pressure a lifter which can handle about 250 kilos and also both machines are capable of self-lighting. Roboteers, stand by. Caterkiller with a lifting arm, Keith Williams, sister Julianne and girlfriend Georgie Reed. Tornado, work colleagues Andrew Marchant, David Gamble and Brian Moss. And there's Gemini, Shane Howard, Brian Fountain and young Daryl Howard. Three, two, one. Watch for the split. There, straight away, the twins break up. Sisters of mercy or daughters of doom, Gemini. Spinning around the arena floor immediately. Difficult to keep track on them. For the rest of the competing robots and the house robots. How do you close on one robot when suddenly it becomes two? Tornado on the attack, meanwhile, on Caterkiller. Caterkiller really in the midst of everything at the moment. Traditional wedge shape. In goes Tornado. Lower, flatter. Very little ground clearance on Tornado as it comes slamming in on the attack at 10 miles an hour. Can it get a flipped up and over? Has the lifting arm. Can it self right? I don't think so. Tornado with a little bit of a shove. Electrically operated that flipping lifting arm of Canakilla from Adelson in Surrey, but at the moment they're being shoved across the arena floor by Tornado. The boys from Huntingdon doing their stuff here. On Caterkiller, the tail hangs limp for the back of the Caterkiller. Oh, in towards Shunt there. Into the CPZ, the corner control zone, and down comes Shunt. Great hands played right into the mechanical guts of Caterkiller, which really doesn't make the pleasant thinking. Out comes Shunt now. There's part of the twins there, Gemini. A lunge and a great attack as well from the pneumatically powered flipper. Can flip up to 250 kilograms, and surely here Caterkiller's done for. Meanwhile, on the attack on Tornado there, the twins, Gemini, A and B, together. Now, Killalot has pinched Caterkiller, but surely is doomed. Gemini under attack. 80 kilos of Caterkiller being dragged across the arena floor, though, by Killalot. Killalot, Caterkiller, barbecue. Oh, dear. Tornado, meanwhile, Puts the wind up, shunt. Only a little bit. Well, not a little bit. Look at that. That's great power from the tornado team. Meanwhile, Caterkiller, they know they're out of it. Shunt onto the great arena. Pick it out of there very quickly, house robot. We don't want to see you doomed. Caterkiller's about to be doomed. The Gemini bots are spinning madly all over the place. This is bamboozling, bewitching stuff from Gemini. Tornado comes 
back in, as stubborn as a Capricorn, as the Geminis fling themselves around the arena. Canicula immobilized, dead, long, long time ago. Slammed against the arena, well, there's no light. Oh, the tails come off. Cata, no tails. And there they are, they know they're out of it. The Canicula team. Meanwhile, ooh, dead metal. In goes the great circular blade of dead metal. Oh, Tornado's in the pit! They think they're still in Canicula. I don't think they are. I think they were mobilised a long time ago. I think it's Canicula that have gone here despite their celebrations. We'll wait and see, of course, but I think they've already gone. I think Tornado are OK. Am I right? Gemini, magnificent, like, superb.